crawling around on this rocky landscape today, it's hard to believe that anything could ever grow here. Antarctica has no trees at all. Just mosses and lichens and only two species of flowering plants. So when you find a fossil plant here, it's telling you about a very different world indeed. But after just 10 minutes of digging, Ooh. we find something incredible. Oh, <laughs> wow. Just like that. A beautifully preserved leaf from an ancient beech tree. A northern temperate forest tree, a tree that's deciduous. You see it growing in New York City and in London. And here is a chunk of it from the beach in Antarctica next to an iceberg on a very cold day. These fossil leaves reveal a very different picture of Nelson Island from the landscape we see today. 83 million years ago, this frigid place was covered in a verdant forest of southern beech, ginkgos, and tree ferns, with mild temperatures rarely dropping below freezing. And it wasn't just this one spot. We've just been on the beach, found these amazing fossil leaves. These leaves, on the other hand, are from a different place. They're from southern Chile. We're here. Here's a 700-mile gap, and here is southern Chile. This leaf is from southern South America, and is very characteristic of the beach family, as is this leaf from Antarctica that we just collected this morning. So we have Chile and Antarctica. Pretty strong evidence that these two places were connected. We've known for a while that Earth's crust is broken into plates that slide and collide on top of hot, flowing rocks deep beneath the surface. Evidence like matching fossils from South America, Antarctica, and even Australia tells us that these three continents were once joined together and covered with a vast forest stretching across the South Pole.